Now we are watching a community effort in Johnson County, Missouri, and this is all about keeping children safer. The Crest Ridge High School football field needs repairs, and that's where we find KMBC 9's Matt Fleener tonight with a request from students and staff members. We're a really good community. It's a small community. Friday night lights here, it's packed. For 42 years on Friday nights, they've come from farm fields to this field. Between the sideline and the middle field is about three feet of a difference. Wesley Taylor, quarterback for Crest Ridge High School, wanted us to see his football field. And when we saw it, we asked him to run all the way across, then turn back around to show you what's going on. I'm standing near the end zone of the Crest Ridge High School football field, and if you're watching a touchdown from across the field, man, it could be tough to see. If you're in the middle of the field, you're trying to throw an out to the, to the sideline, you gotta throw it, you gotta take in the hill, and you gotta throw it downhill. It's a geometry lesson for quarterbacks and a geology lesson for cheerleaders. Yeah, the rocks are not ideal to cheer on at all. Elena Wilhite's school spirit is fully visible from the stands. A little trickier to see from across the field as her feet hit that cinder track. Currently, we're not able to hold track meets here or anything really, just football games. To get something like this well, would just be huge for our community. It's why they're all happy. Crest Ridge has become one of 16 finalist schools across the country for a multi-million dollar upgrade from T-Mobile to their football field and facilities. It's great because we have great pride and great support, but financially, sometimes we don't get the support that other schools get in their big town. So we have to do contests like this. A contest to help all at this small town football field see the entire game. I think that it uplifts the community a lot and it helped the school out tremendously. We're due, we're due. In Johnson County, Missouri, Matt Fleener, KBC 9 News.